Oh my god, dear, be careful. She grips the handle of the knife. Pretty, pretty small knife, actually, by the size of it. Directing her isn't necessary. It looks like she knows just how to use it. Sorry, the dog's on my lap. Good <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Without hesitation, she cuts her bangs, then cleans up the rest. Ah, much better. I can see your face clearly now. Yeah, it looks great. I can see your face clearly now. It's a simple bangs only bald cut, but it's much better than her face being hidden. Hey, there's some charm to a girl hiding her face. Like, you know, Sadako. I mean, yeah, she kills you after a, you know, you know, seeing her on a videotape after seven days, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> With this clean look, there's not even the creepiness I felt when I first saw her. You are a normal girl. Yeah, you're cute. Cute is, um, well, cute. On top of it, being difficult to explain, it's also embarrassing. It's wrong of me, but I'm pretending I didn't hear the question in her tone. That's right, now that that's done, let's pick a name. No matter the name, I think I'll still call you Nin, because I just... I like the idea of it being mixed with you calling yourself human instead of like, you know, like Ningen, just Nin sounds nice. That is the name from the creator, right? Or for, for uh, other fellow humans, it would be nice if I had a name to call you. Should it be? I'll think about it. Give me a little bit here. I pretend to be conflicted, making a hmm sound. I've slightly started to realize. I've been making reasons to pull her to a standstill, but ultimately this has been to buy time. Even saying stuff like that, the real me is most likely just simply frightened. Being left here is terrifying. But going with her is also terrifying. If I go with her, she's going to die again, before my eyes. Suffering over and over again and again. Blood, so much blood. If it's possible... I no longer want to see such things. It's not that I'm terrified of seeing blood, I'm terrified of witnessing firsthand the crimes of humans, the crimes of mine. Can you read my mind? Indeed. So yeah, I think I will stick with Nin. Yeah, even still, picking a name without much thought is no good. Why? If it rings true, it rings true. Just as she says it is true. Not much will come of it by buying time here. Traveling with her is all I have in the current situation. Even in the worst of things that I don't want to see, there is no moving forwards on the end of not seeing them. I won't be able to search for people. Yet. Hey, you're always saying my purpose. My purpose, but don't you think dying is scary? <laughs> Why not? What if I gave you another reason for living? 
is it possible for you to abandon that purpose for something that could be worth more? If that's the case, isn't it agonizing? Isn't it difficult? How can you call that a life if it's just a life of death? What is that all about? She's telling me that not dying is just like death itself. It's kind of the same as like not having a purpose. I think the reason she's only doing this is because it's all she has left. Like, without it, without having a purpose for living, that is just as good as death. It's understandable, because an awful lot of young men and women go through this in their lives, of feeling useless, or feel like they have nothing to offer, basically. Which is completely understandable, but it's not always the case. Like, I feel like sometimes a purpose can be found in another person or it could be found with yourself or hell it could even be found in religion you know like with all the pain and trauma that comes with religion it has done some good for some people and it has saved people in the past from well some very downtrodden force and alcohol and like substance abuses and stuff like that so you know everything has its ups and downs in the situation that's completely crazy. Such thoughts. It's contradictory. Contradictory. What the fuck? Contradictory. Sorry. <laughs> it really takes the cake. <laughs> yeah, does this girl really accept such absurdity? And just as she had done, is accepting this unreasonableness put before me. All that I have. Oh, seriously? Worrying is just a waste of time. I decided on your name. It's Asagiri. Asagiri? Go on, tell me the meaning and then I'll think whether or not if I'll call her Asagiri over Nin. It's the mist that blankets the morning. What? Like the mist, I feel like you're something almost intangible. That, and ever since I became like this, my mornings had started the time she came into my sight. Thus, morning, the morning mist, Asagiri. I mean, to be fair, that's a good explanation. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep calling her in. Sorry. <laughs> it's short and simple. It's almost kind of like I'm saying like the letter Ein in German, but I'm just replacing the E with an N. So I'll just stick with Nin for one. Since she's the one last human remaining by the looks of it. I just have to go with her and be prepared. I skipped something, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I suppose we go. One more thing? Faster than I can ask what it is, Asagiri moves to the back of the room. What the fuck? What? Spots of blood gradually spread across her cloak. What the fuck? Why are you- What? After that, as if dragged by something, she slides above the ground, then- <coughs> Oh, what the fuck? Oh my days. She burns. <laughs> oh my days. Fuck's sake, no! <laughs> she burns and suffers. Yet the one piece doesn't burn. The dark red stains on the dress have already vanished. A few seconds pass after Asagiri burns up, her dress still intact. Her body again heals itself. She descends the stairs and carries me in her arms. What? 
今の死に気がつくことができたのはあなたがこの部屋を教えてくれたからです私が今死ぬことができたのはあなたのおかげです There was a death here? Puncture wounds in the stomach. Someone killed themselves. That's usually、um, aligns with, like, say, seppuku. Like, in Japanese culture, basically, you would、um, stick the knife in your torso and then drag it across. Although, I guess in this situation, they just died by stomach stabbing. Who knows? Or maybe someone raided this place and murdered them. I don't know. But either way, that's a horrible thought. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. This is what it means to travel with her. <laughs> It's like you just realized. No looking past this one. From my own goals now, I'm telling Nasagiri to go ahead and die after all. Even if I wasn't here and Asagiri was to die. The truth is, I'm supporting death. Well, what you fail to understand, my friend, is that death is a part of life. There are two things that are certain in this world, and it's death and taxes. It's time to accept it. All that I can do is accept it. You are. No, it, it's nothing. I think over and over just to let it be, but I can't willingly accept her behavior. More so than wearing clothing, trimming hair, or gaining a name, I'm being thanked for suffering and dying. However, I look at it, this is, ins this is insane. Am I right? <laughs> What a bloody sentence. Jesus Christ. <sighs> What a bloody sentence. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. Can I not just sleep and dream of better times rather than just watching you die? <laughs> oh my god, this poor girl. It's morning, I see. When I wake up, peering down over me is Nin. At some point, her pace and the swaying scenery change into something unfamiliar. She must be walking like this even when I am asleep. While I listen to her speak with an indifferent tone, I suddenly think and question. Do you call my name the entire time I'm asleep? That's just weird. You can tell if I'm awake by looking at my eyes, you know. Okay, yeah, I think I'm an inanimate object or a brain or a heart or something like that because that she just said your eyes, you have eyes, like no, I can't be a human, surely. Nin tilts her head, judging by the tone and the way she says I, it looks like she knows what the world indicates. Yet she can't seem to understand what I'm saying. Why are you two so dense? Just ask her what you look like! Ugh,、oh, my days. When I'm sleeping, my eyes are closed, and when I'm awake, they are open. That's the difference. Maybe what's not getting across is the meaning of the words? Open and close? This makes the explanation a hassle. That is to say, well. Okay, first off, you can see the difference between when I'm awake and when I'm asleep, right? 
<laughs> okay. I'm going to get nowhere this way. I'll take an easy to understand approach. I got it. If so, from here on out, I will say good morning as soon as I wake up. By doing that, you can tell if I am awake or not. Ohio means Ohio. <laughs> Ohana means family. Family means nobody can sleep behind. Uh, it's a morning greeting. Like, Ohio gozaimasu is something people say to each other when they wake up. Yes. She repeats good morning several times, then nods. Because she's clenching her hands in a fist, I'm guessing she's committed to it, to memory? That sells it. Good morning, Neen. Hi. She gives a second nod, then... Ohio, Yoya. She says the words slowly, as though confirming them. Ah. No, don't worry about it. What's going on with me? I said good morning, and good morning was said back to me. From that gesture alone, I'm helped to say happy. Something's off here. Good morning is nothing unusual, yet here we are as if it is. I'll be sure to greet her, making it an everyday thing again. Deciding that in my heart, I left my gaze. Has anything changed while I was asleep? Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. Why, did you feel a pang of guilt, sadness? I see. Uh, that must have been rough. It's bitter that I'm only able to say that much. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> Sorry, bruv. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> It's just the idea of like her burning to death and she's just like looking at him in pain and suffering and he's just sat there like that's rough bro <laughs> For fuck's sake I'm sorry Oh I'm dark like that I'm sorry I don't wanna praise Nin for doing her purpose but yeah but you should understand that she doesn't like what she has to do you know it still hurts her man you know However, given the situation, I also can't firmly tell her not to do it. I'm stuck in the middle. Rough. Come on, really? Things aren't going to be settled by such words. Even though she comes back to life, she's dying here. Can a handful of words such as that really represent her suffering over and over again? Why? Guys say that they're fine when they're not all the time, yet nobody gives a shit. We carry on, basically, because, well, we're men. That's what we do. We just carry on because we know that no one's coming for us. No one is coming to save us. So we have to save ourselves. And nobody will listen to us out of their own choices, unless they really are close to us or not, really. So, that's just life, unfortunately. It's been like that for fucking eons. Is it sad? Yeah, I guess, but... That's life, unfortunately. You can sit there playing the victim card all you bloody like, but it's not going to help you. You get up, pull your bootstraps together, and suffer a little bit and carry on with it, basically. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger, basically. That's what I always believed. Sure enough, nothing got through to her. How do you know? Maybe she's contemplating it. Seeing her with a tilted head, I search for words in a rush. How are things going? <laughs> Oh, goody. Oh, really? 
Nin's footsteps continue in an even stride, without stopping, even in mid-conversation. Hey, while we talk about it, how do you experience death? Are you able to see those who have died? An object? So, you're able to see the state of death? You're able to do that? There's probably not much to mention about thoughts, right, before death. I'm sure it's just horrible things like, I don't want to die, how did I come to such a fate? I'm scared, it hurts. Well, yeah. I had something similar like that when I crashed my bike. Although, it was kind of both our faults. Because, um, what happened is that I high sided when I hit this woman's car. She kind of pulled out of me out of nowhere. I didn't see it coming. And the thing that went through my mind was the look on her face. Like, she looked straight at me. And as I, like, high-sided over, I luckily landed on my feet. And I kind of, like, walked a few paces to, like, slow myself down from falling over. And the first thing I remember doing is rushing up to her and, like, tapped on her window and asked if she was okay. And, and then I checked on my bike, and then I went up to her to get like some information from her and then when I went to go check on my bike again she had gotten in her car and like fucked off so yeah that's what I get for caring for someone she just basically just ups and dips on me and then funnily enough a guy runs out of his car ups to me and then gives me his card saying he's a lawyer and give him a call when he needs to saying that he has the information on her license plate I thought well, how can this luck befall me like this? This is hysterical. It's just so hysterical. Anyway, I'm sure it's just horrible things like that. I don't want to die. How did I come to such a fate? I'm scared and it hurts. Blah, 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 blah. As she listens to such voices of others, she actually goes through that death herself. And it's not just once, it's over. Oh, sorry, once and it's over. She has to go through it countless times. And just thinking about such a thing is too much. It's terrifying. I'd probably run away from such a thing if it were me. I would scream, why me? Wouldn't someone else be better? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, if I'm getting tortured, I'm not going to just be like, oh no, please do it to somebody else, you know? Like, oh, come on. Why would you put on pain under somebody else, you know? But a similar... I nearly called you a scary. Uh, Nin doesn't do any of that. Instead, she moves her legs, not a pause in her pace. Seriously, what are you? <laughs> yeah, you are. So you say. So you say. Is this girl carrying me really a human? It's not like you directly killed those living things, am I right? Oh. Oh, I've got a theory. What if she is actually? What if she is actually responsible for killing all these people? And the guilt has been plagued her all these centuries later and she's just using this god character as like her conscience and this is her form of repentance by going through the deaths that she's caused oh that could be an interesting fear oh what if she's actually the arbiter of all this stuff oh that's interesting okay even still, do you seriously want to pay for their crimes? 
罪が許されるわけではありません罪を自覚できていないこともまた罪の一つです That's understandable. Without hesitation, Nin proclaims to be a wrongdoer. Something is off here, I'm sure of it. I don't know how often I've fought this, but I'm certain of it, even now. Is there such a human as pure as this one? To be fair, We always equate children with innocence. That's always been the case. But to be quite frank, children are some of the most unruly little shits that you'll come across because they don't understand the terms of responsibilities that adults have to go through. And this is kind of how we want them to think, basically, because when you're an adult, life sucks. Life, you have responsibilities, and when you're a child, you've got that. Plain love of innocence that you can just admire on children, basically. Which is probably why we protect our children with such ferocity, because in a sense, we're protecting what we lost when we were children as we turned into adults ourselves. And hate's never really born, it's taught to our children, unfortunately. And unfortunately, this is the case in most cases, really. If she's speaking like that from her heart, She's like some goddess or divine spirit, isn't she? There is only one reason for such behavior if she truly was created to be human. Is this Gabriel? There are some, there are some stories about Gabriel and his relationship with God, which led him to then fall from heaven. I think it was because he didn't like the way God was treating the humans as like they were kind of like cattle or like to be put into one box in a certain sense basically you know and there are an awful lot of contradictions when it came to like the seven sins basically like you know how oh he would commit genocide if they didn't follow him and like say if they followed any other god but him but then you know murder is technically also a sin so he's kind of contradicting himself doing that as well but then again that's just the way humans had written the bible that's how they've contradicted themselves by writing it that way it's not technically god's teachings but it's more around the fact of people writing the book itself and putting their own um interpretations of it into the book basically don't get me wrong the bible is a good story it's a great story but can it hold up over the years from its inception from like the old testament to like the new beginnings of the book basically so you know I, I don't know it's it's hard to say really you are overdoing it aren't you of course that's what it is yeah you're only pretending you accepted it all in short she's given up yeah pretty much Thus, bluffing that she's okay. She's a weak, cowardly hypocrite, <laughs> like most humans are. I'm satisfied if I see her in this way. That's fine if you don't get it. You're just unaware of it, that's all. There is no need to take this further and make her realize it. I settle on this conclusion, and I'm about to end my thoughts. Then I realize, if Nin un is unconsciously overdoing it, this isn't good. Stop. You intend to experience death for someone again, am I right? You have, however, been repeating death, right? Dying is not something simple, right? I thought so. Her perception is dull. Being unaware of overdoing it means there's also a high chance she overlooks her limits. If she keeps experiencing death at this rate, 
Nin will lose her mind sooner or later. She's a child, my dude. If she hasn't lost it at the first feeling of death, she would have lost it by now, believe you me. Or maybe she already has, and her kudere attitude is basically the sign of just the dullness that she feels, because all she feels is death, basically. Maybe she already has lost it. And when she does, she's bound to toss me aside. Are you seriously still thinking about yourself? Like, my guy, I get it, but Christ, man, like, think about her for this moment.